Hello, Gemini. Thank you very much for tuning in to your love read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan. For supportive oracle cards, Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. Relationship first, single second. Oracle cards come out where needed. Blah, 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 blah. Excuse me. That first card, I don't know. Let's have to, we'll have to see how it goes. It's one of those cards that can go... Oh, they're reinforcing it, too. Okay. <laughs> You're coming up to a big change. Huge change. Um, no two ways about it. You seem to be aware of it, is what I'm getting. Um, no, I don't really want to put any of these out. Um, I know the protection is at the bottom of this deck, but I don't really want to use this deck for some reason. I'll leave the protection there. <sighs> we'll see how that factors in later. I just really... What's here, they're like, this is just kind of what's happening. Uh, usually oral cards are kind of advice how to handle things, but they're like, this is just kind of happening. It's just kind of like rolling with the punches is kind of how this feels. I don't think it's really horribly bad for you when I'm coming into Gemini in a relationship, but I'm noticing you have a lot of stress with it. Spiritually, you have a lot of stress. The Nine of Swords, kind of like, I feel like the way this is going is, especially with Gemini, you can see a lot of possibilities, but it's kind of like you're being, you're sliding down this hill and you're like, but there's so much up here that I want to do. I just can't get my footing so that I can make things happen. I just keep sliding farther and farther down this hill. I can't grab hold to anything to change things. Lots of ideas. But every time you try to grab onto something, it slips through or you slip, you're, you lose your grip and you keep sliding and sliding is what kind of what I'm getting. And I feel like that's the stress of this. It's like you do have a lot of ideas. It's just like every time you try to go towards something, you're just losing, you're losing ground and it just, you just can't seem to hold on to it. Um... No, this is by itself. Eight of Cups. And usually this card is walking away from something good, something like that. In this situation, I kind of feel... You're trying to accept the situation. It's kind of like you feel like you have to walk away from something good, and you're not really... It's not like you want to. I don't really feel like you want to. It just feels like you need to. And the sooner you accept that things are changing, because you've got the death card here where you're standing, you know things are changing. And you're kind of looking at it, the sooner I accept it, it may not be all, it may not be something, maybe I don't have to walk away right now, but the sooner I accept it, the sooner I can start building in a different direction. I can still start correcting or making things more stable in a different way. I'll have more control, there we go, I'll have more control to look through things and make decisions the sooner I let this go. I feel like that's why you're doing this, because there is still some good in this situation. You don't have to walk away just yet, whatever it is you're dealing with with your partner, because um, I'm feeling like you're, you seem to be pretty good, the two of you together. But I feel like it's one of these things where the change is happening, you really don't want to let go, but the more you try to hold on, the more you keep slipping and losing your grip. and It's just kind of like, you know what, I'm going to let this go. Because once it moves on, I'll have stable ground to stand on and I can make better decisions by what I'm seeing instead of playing this game where I could do this and then I grab on and then I slip off of that. Like, I'm sick of this game. I'm just flat out sick of this game, so I'm going to let this end so I can get better footing later. Now, your partner... I want to go into your partner's cards, but I'm still pulled to yours, just to be fair. Um, you got the Karma card for you, but this is your Challenge card. I feel like you're nervous, in a sense. This is part of the stress. I'm, I feel the stress coming in. Like Karma is you know, usually judgment in most decks. And it's kind of like, um, you have a lot of humanity to the situation, kind of like, you know what, I don't always make the best decisions. It just happens. And you're worried, like something, some decision from the past coming around and biting you on the butt. It's, I mean, I feel like everybody can do this though. Like they look back and they're like, well, that wasn't my best moment. Because <laughs> that's what I'm feeling like. It's, I'm looking back going, well, that wasn't my best moment. 
And I'm getting this as part of the stress. Like as this moves forward, you're like, ah, oh, the past is coming up. The past is going to come back and make me pay for something. There's, there's a lot of stress here, but I'm not feeling like, but this is the challenge card. This is the challenge card. In the sense of like, I feel like you're worried that something from the past is going to come back and haunt you. I don't really feel like that's going to happen. I feel like it's a very strong concern because you're seeing it. It's kind of like, it's kind of like somebody's lurking around the windows outside your house. It's pro it, it turns out it's maybe like the gas man bringing in the ga the fuel for the heater or something like that is what it actually is. But you can't, you, you're not able to see that. So you know somebody's out there. You're like, oh boy, now it's coming for me. <laughs> it's kind of one of those feelings, if that makes sense. Nothing really bad is there, but you know, you can't make out what's going on around you totally. So you're just kind of like, oh, the past might be coming for me. We all have these moments, though, where like, we look back. I mean, it's life. You look back and you're like, oh, well, that wasn't my best moment. So you are moving forward. You're, you're trying to accept it. You're nervous like the past is coming back to get you, whatever that means. Now, your partner is very interesting here because the first card I see for them is the Two of Pentacles. They're, it's like they're trying to balance it out, but once they see that you're moving forward, they're just kind of like... I feel like they're looking at you kind of weird, just kind of like, we're done? Like, I feel like they're looking at you like that, like, we're done with this situation? Like, we're done? I just feel like that energy here. And I feel like they're trying to kind of almost entice you to come back and like, no, let's not let go of this just yet. But yeah, they did, I feel like they just didn't get the memo because I just you're already done. I don't feel like this is like, I feel like you're already done. Because you're like, I keep trying, I keep trying, and I slip, and I don't get anywhere. I'm just going to let this finish off so I can go towards something I can actually do something with. And there's a frustration on your side. And they're just kind of like, well, really? I feel like they're that's their first reaction. Like, really? And they, they're kind of still like, but there's a couple things I'd like to do here. Yeah, I feel like it doesn't take a lot of convincing. You just seem to tell them, I, I just, I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to go from this. Like, it's ending either way. Why drag it out? And I feel like that's your opinion on this. Like, it's drag, it's, it's ending anyway. Let's just let it end and move on. Better things down the road. They've got the, they've got the Ten of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Two of Cups. Like, they're going with it. They're like, well, if that's what you want, okay. That's what you want. Okay. I feel like you're easily selling them on like, let's let this go and start something new and just build from there. Like, let's stop putting energy into something we know is ending. You know what I mean? Like, this is ending. Let's stop putting energy into it because it's just coming to an end. And let's, instead of doing that, let's step away, let that end on its own and start something new that we can, the more energy we put in, the more of an investment we have. You, you seem to be selling them on this quite easily quite easily. You're making sense to them. Um, now I'm noticing this. The Two of Cups is actually in their challenge position. Be aware that they may be overly agreeable. Overly agreeable. And I've seen this with, I've seen this with Gemini before. Things you pose as possibilities you may pose things as possibilities that they take as just, we're going to do that. You know what I mean? You may be just talking something out. It seems like they should know better by this point, but, you know. I mean, that's a Gemini thing. You think about things, you talk about things once in a while. But the over-agreeing here with the Two of Cups, this is the challenge card. Like, I feel like you'll bring something forward as a possibility, and they're going to make it as a re make it a reality. Be aware of that. Be very, very aware of that. Because they got the Ace of Wands coming up. Be very, very aware of that. You're going to post something as a possibility, and they're going to grab hold and run with it. That's what I'm getting. And it's kind of like going to be one of those situations like, I, I didn't mean, I, I was just considering it. I was thinking about it. I didn't mean I wanted to do it. I, wanted, I just was talking about it. It's kind of like, how do I explain this? It's like you said, well, we could buy land over next to that river over there. And then they're over there, like, finishing off the sale. And you're like, hold on. <laughs> like, what? I was just saying it's a possibility. I wasn't saying do it. That, like, this is the Two of Cups because they're going to think you're on the same page and they're just going to run with it. Because they, so you make some type of suggestion, 
They think it's great. They, they, they're like, that's perfect. We could have a house over next to that river. Yes, do it. I'm doing it. Here we go. And then you're like, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I was just considering it. It was, a, it was an option. I was considering. We're just talking it out. Um, be aware of that. Be very, very, very aware of that. Because literally, they're going forward. They're just going forward. They've got this Ace of Wands here. Letting the, la letting the past go and starting something new, they're ready to start something new. They want to put their energy into something. They're like, let's do it. Let's go. Be aware of this energy. You've got the world coming in here. Like whatever's passing away, whatever's leaving, something else is coming to take its place and it's going to stick around for a while is what I'm getting with the world card. Like you have something coming in. If your partner thinks you're making a decision and you're not, and they, like they buy that land, whatever. If they buy that land, I feel like you're kind of stuck with it. Be aware of this because the world is saying whatever goes forward next is sticking around. Whatever the Ace of Wands creates is holding on for quite a long time. So for example, they're buying that land, you're not getting you're not unloading it quick. And in fact, they're going to probably try to put a house on it or something or whatever the plan is. They're going to try to go forward with it. So be aware. Again, be aware of them over agreeing with you because you're going to bring something forward as a possibility and they're going to be like that's what we should do. Boom, there they go. And then all of a sudden you're like, how did we end up with this land? You said we should. I said it was a possibility. <laughs> like I see that on your side. Like, I said it was a possibility. Um, what helps you? What helps you with this situation? Eight of Pentacles. Being fully aware of how your words are affecting your partner at this moment. At this moment. Because like they want to start. They're itching. They're chomping at the bit to start something. They were, they're like, we need to... We need to lock this down. We need to do. We need to get something going. The Eight of Pentacles is saying, make a very, very strong impression on them when it's just a possibility and make sure you put more than one out there. Like, don't just keep a conversation about one possibility because they're, they're going to get confused. Go through a few and the same thing and reiterate possibilities. We need to keep, no decision is made. We're, I'm, no decision is made. Like you have to make it very clear. The decision has not been made. Here's a few possibilities. You want to bring forth a few at once because I feel like a lot of you might just like give one at a time. Like I'll, I'll put this out there and we can talk this out and throw it back and forth. And when, at another time, we'll talk about a different possibility. In this situation for what's going right now, even though this might not usually be the case, throw out two or three and make the very strong impression like these are possibilities and we need to think about them further because and then make that also that big piece like whatever we choose we're going to stick with for a good while i'm not looking to move on i'm like looking to big dig, dig in some roots and make some something very beautiful and very unique from this i don't i don't think it's going to leave um so it's going to stick around for a while if you do that i think you'll be okay I, um, cause I'm feeling a lot of people who are going to have a hard time when this conversation comes up is cause you're doing one subject at a time thinking this is better for your partner. And I have a feeling that's usually the case, but if you throw out two or three at once and reiterate, no decision is made possibilities. We're simply going through possibilities. It'll work out better because what helps them is to realize seven of cups. They have a lot of possibilities. You may come up with a good idea like that that land over next to the river. It's like, maybe it's a good idea, but maybe, you know, it's a land next to the river. Do we have to worry about flooding? You're like, you know what I mean? What other things come with that? Like, are there a lot of animals around this river? Are we going to have other, like, rodent problems? Like, what other problems could we have? Just because it looks beautiful and sounds ideal doesn't mean it just is. And if you can get them in that spot where it's like possibilities, we need to go through possibilities, we need to think about the positive and the negative, and we need to go through a few different possibilities at once. I'm getting again, because I feel like a lot of you do this, where you're like, I know my partner, if I throw out too many things at once, they get all upset. So I stick it to one thing at a time, and they agree, this is for this conversation, and if I'm having other thoughts, I just keep them to myself. Not for this situation. Throw out two to three things so they realize it's possibilities only. As long as they see that, as long as they see that with the Seven of Cups, like we're going through possibilities, I feel like they'll be fine. And the, like the Fool card is giving me that dreamy atmosphere, like, oh, that could be good, or this could be that. They need to get in that space. Let's think about possibilities. Let's dream where they could go a little bit. Let's just kind of have a little daydream. Don't make the decision yet. When you're ready and you both have decided what you want to do, then tell them, this is what I want. Let's do it. Because they're going to like, 
they're gonna go Phew. they're gonna go real fast they're like all right let's do it let's do it they want to do it they want to settle this in they want to they want to like lock this down as long as you're aware of that I think it'll be fine good good it's a very interesting one I actually think this is a good one for Gemini if that's hitting and I feel like for the I really do again I feel like there's certain ways you deal with your partner and this is just a little out of norm to keep this going well. I just feel like that's the whole thing with that. All right, let's do Gemini for singles. Single Gemini. Okay, there's a weird... <laughs> it's funny. G single Gemini. Uh, something did come through. It's a little comical. I'm going to shuffle these two. It is a little comical. Um... Back in the 80s, like I was a kid when this commercial was out, there was a little old lady, and I forget who it was for. I don't know if it was for Arby's or Wendy's or what. But she would pop in, and she'd get this hamburger, and there'd be like a little teeny hamburger there, and she'd be like, where's the beef? And that's literally the comment I'm getting, like, where's the beef? Almost like, what is this made of? Where's the substance to this situation? Let's see. That's a really comical way for... A message to come in. <laughs> I think that's funny. Where's the beef? Um, as in a, you know, what is this made of? What's really here? Like, where, where's, what am I supposed to hold on to here? Is this all just like, is there, ooh, these both came in upside down. And they fit. They fit. So let's see what's going on here. Single Gemini. The strongest card in the energies popping off of is your past, the Six of Swords. The, um, superficial. Superficial, moving on from something because it's superficial. Superficially moving on or something is superficial. Like, not really giving a lot of thought to something. Um, and this could be the person you're looking at, just kind of like superficial energy um, I don't think it's you and you know we all have our times I understand that, but I don't feel like it's you I feel like it's what you're looking at you're just kind of like almost like somebody's showing you affection this is in the past and you're just like that only lasts as far as dinner goes and then we'll see what happens after that like you don't trust it like this person is showing you some interest but you're like that'll probably last for this hour and then we're back at square one. Like you don't, you're you're not trusting of it. You don't believe that they really have very genuine interest. It's just kind of like, like a bird that sees a shiny object. Like they see it, they go towards it. Once they have it, they put it in the nest. They move on, or they just kind of peck at it a little bit and then they move on. Like it, that's why you moved on from it originally. It just didn't seem like there was anything of substance there. Where's the beef? Hello. Um, this person's attractive though. Like, there's physical attraction towards them. But it's one of those things, like, it doesn't matter. It's kind of like a cardboard cutout. Oh, that's rude. It's kind of like a cardboard cutout. Like, if I just wanted a picture, then I'd get a picture. Oh, that's rude. I know it's a general read, but I feel like that's harsh. Like, you're looking at this person like, if I just wanted somebody pretty, I'd get a picture, and I'd hang it on the wall, and I'd call it a day. I want something more of substance, somebody I can talk to, have fun with, you know, banter with a little bit, maybe. This isn't working. It's not meant to be rude, so I hope it doesn't come out. I know it this sounds harsh, but it's just basically, you know, if, if there's nothing there to really connect in beyond looks, it's just... I'll even be fair. Some of you may have even had a physical moment with this person, but I, if you did, I feel like that even kind of fell short. Because it just wasn't engaging for you. Now, the King of Swords is at the top. It's not like you haven't given it thought. But you just... you. I feel like you're constantly hitting dead ends. It's kind of like, yeah, but this isn't good, or that doesn't work, or they're not really that my type of person. They don't really keep me engaged. Like... I know this is subjective, and just to you, the way this person is, they're just not engaging. To you, if this is hitting, 
this person is boring. And I feel, I don't mean for this to be harsh, but it, I'm not saying they're a boring person, but you have a lot going on. You're very smart. You got a lot going on in your head. You like to talk. You like to think things out. You have a different energy than them. So your energies don't match. To you, they're a little boring. They're a little sedentary. I'm not saying that they are, but just the way you connect with them. I just feel like that's, I don't mean to be rude, but I feel like there's a, I feel like I have this urge to be a little bit rude. I don't know why. Um, let's just keep going. Let's not get stuck up on it. Stuck up on it. <laughs> Really? Okay, here we go. Um, this just this is not matching. But this person likes you. They like you. They've got the nine of cups. Something isn't right. Something is just not right with this. This is just not working. Like it's cool. And I don't think you're being mean to this person. Don't get me wrong. I don't feel that energy. But I feel like when it push comes to shove, you're just like, this isn't a match for me. This just doesn't work. But they like you. They're thinking I don't like this either. This is annoying. They think that this is a slam dunk. They're like, well, how can you not want me? For those, it's, it's a general read, but that's the energy I'm feeling. Like, well, how can you not want me? <laughs> is that, okay, I'm going to keep going with it. Weird, this is a weird one. Where's the beef? Again, like, you know, where's the substance? You do have the Seven of Cups at the bottom, which I consider this a very good card for Gemini. A lot of excitement, a lot of possibilities here. But the thing is, you're like, this. You're, you're like, well, I could give this a shot. I could easily win this one over. Like, they obviously think I want them anyway. But it's kind of like, you know it's not going to go anywhere. You, I feel like you're, you play with the thought a little bit, but you're like, I don't really think this is going to make it. I even feel like you actually might even give this a second shot, like in a date type thing. Hanging out. Like maybe there is more depth to this person that I'm not seeing. Let's, I'll, I'll try to find a way that we, maybe this can come out of this person and I can find something I didn't see before. Maybe they keep it hidden. Maybe this is something about their personality that they just keep more on the shy side. Maybe I just got to kind of pull it out. Maybe it's there. And you've got the possibility. Like you're willing to explore the possibility. Like they are attractive. I could easily get this one, obviously, because they already think I like them. And they keep coming towards me. They do like me a lot. But this is what happens. Ten of Swords and the High Priest. Ten of Swords is because, like, they, I feel like this person literally is attractive to you. But you're just like, that's pretty much it. That That's it. That's where it ends. Ball stops there. There's nothing else. Just lead balloon. Now, that's it. That's it. And the Ten of Swords is kind of like, you're really, it's devastating because you're like, everything else could be great if they just could match me intellectually. If there was some type of stimulation or if there was something I could work with here. But it's painfully obvious that this person, like, if you literally tried to make something happen here, two, three months if you really forced it, you probably could work with this, but you would quickly, quickly get bored and you'd be like, it would be a drudging thing you would be drudging through this relationship and you would start to really hate every moment of it and you know that which is why you got the high priest coming in right after you're like i'm not going to do this because there's just nowhere to go with it i feel like you're not going to do it but you're seeing some good things here i'm seeing some interesting things here um this person does not seem to back down I don't feel, I don't really feel the energy where you're like telling them flat out, this isn't ever going to happen. I still feel you're kind of being nice to them, but you're trying, you're trying to kind of ghost away. You're trying to just kind of let it peter out. Just kind of like, you know, dissipate. They are just not leaving you alone though. I'm getting the Knight of Pentacles. Like they're persistent. They're very persistent. Like they think they can win you over. I don't even think that. They're just thinking it's just going to take time to get you to go their way. They're just not, they're not backing down. They just keep, they're just constantly there. For whatever reason, they're just constantly showing up. I don't see you liking it. Pleasure reversed, literally. Which, the question is why, I just feel like, for, for whatever reason, you just, I feel like you're stomaching it. For some of you, I feel like there's a, you have a connection in common, or like maybe you work together, or there's some reason here where you're just like, I don't want to just like slam the door because that's going to come back and get me in other ways. So you're trying to like just quietly walk away, but it's not working. Um, and this person just keeps lingering around. 
But the longer this goes, the more you want to end it. You got the, the death card here in your thoughts. Like, I need this to stop. Um, Excuse me. And you got the three of swords where you're standing. Like, you don't want to make this a big deal. And you're kind of, it's becoming a problem because you're like, you're starting to question, like, is this going to have to be, like, am I going to just have to flat out tell them, no, not now, not ever? You know? No, not now, not ever. Am I going to have to do this? The Three of Swords is like, you don't want to make this a big deal. And it's bothering you because there's residual problems. You're like, if I really just shut this down and upset this person, I'm afraid I'm going to have fallout in other areas. But you, and the more you want it to end, the harder it seems to make an end. And that's the Three of Swords. Like, it's just kind of like, I don't want this. I, this isn't working and I can't get them to leave me alone. And I'm afraid of the repercussions here. Where this is going, I feel like at some point you're going to have to make the decision. You're going to have to just tell them, I'm sorry, this isn't working for me. Um, I just don't think there's a way around it. And I do see it. It's going to linger. The Four of Pentacles with the, is that action reversed? Until you tell them, until you turn action right side up and you tell them, I'm not going to do this. This isn't going to happen. I'm not interested. I'm sorry. Or I'm just not interested. Until you do that, they're not going to stop. I'm getting the four of pentacles. Like, they're just not going to stop. Like, I feel like this could go on for literally years. It's very obnoxious. They just keep coming and coming. Like, they're going to win you over at some point. Like, at some point, you're just going to give in. At some point, they'll get this relationship that they want. It's just it doesn't stop until you turn this around and you tell them, I'm not I'm not into it. It seems to be disrupting your energy a little bit. It, it seems to throw other things off. The longer it goes, the more it bothers you. It's just kind of like I see like a, I see somebody's phone ringing and going, oh my god, again with this. I see somebody at work, and it's just like every time some reminder of this person comes in, it gets to the point where every time a reminder of this person, it's just kind of like it, it, you you start having a bad day because you're just like. Oh, I don't want to deal with that anymore. You're going to have to tell this person. I literally feel the sooner the better. Like right here in the center, like I feel like after this, optimally, if you can, because I do feel like you're going to give it another shot. I feel like after this, you should probably just ante up at that point and be like, you know what? It was good. I think we're great as friends, but just you and I are going to be friends and friends only. I, I don't have a romantic connection to you. Thank you. I just don't see it there. I just have to ante up right there and try to shut it down there. I'm thinking that can bring the death card into the path is a general read, but I'm feeling like when this last time, like it was great seeing you again. I'm glad we went out, but it did cement it for me that we're going to be friends and friends only. And just keep using that friend word. Like you might have to make it clear though. We are, we will always be friends. We will always be friends. We will only be friends. Only and always be friends. This is, and like, you might even have to be a little bit more aggressive and say, you know, I, I have some other people I'm dating or I'm going to date. I'm looking for a date with someone else because we're not going to happen. <laughs> I don't feel like you want to be that aggressive, but you might have to be to get this person to stop because they're not going to otherwise. All right, I think we're good. All right, I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.